This edition of the Riddler Report is brought to you by... How are you? Good, yourself? Oh, not bad. You on guard? Something like that. I'm going to try and interview the man himself. Who are you with? It's Ridleyreport.com. It's like a poor man's TV station. Where are you on? Uh, well, just YouTube. I live in Bedford, but I'm not on, I'm not on BCC TV. Uh, it's too much trouble to get on a, like a cable access. Sometimes people will take my video and they'll put it on cable access. I wouldn't even know about it. I'm on, I'm on Dish. Okay, yeah. There's a you know there's a cable station here, uh, you know, and they have a lot of boring programming. Yeah, if you have, <laughs> but if you it's have really cable, useful. It's really glad. It's really they, good. They, that you, it's, if, yeah. if a town lets cable come in, they do it on the, the on the basis yeah. that you will provide us. Supposedly, I yeah. grew up in Brookline, Massachusetts, and I was there when they first brought in cable, and was yeah, they were all you know arguing about all they were going to do. The well, funny see. thing was, is they they brought you know they had all the pay per view porno things. Yeah, and somehow when they were first setting it up, somebody called me. Put on channel. Put on channel. So everybody was getting it, it. Everybody was getting it. <laughs> That's just crazy. I remember the first time everybody... No plot, just, you know, hi, yeah. how you doing? Oh, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> it was the first time anyone ever interfered, me, interfered with me trying to film was a cable access executive. I was interviewing him, and he just reached up and disconnected my microphone in the middle of the interview. Well, I was going to disrupt you if you were with them. <laughs> well, I shouldn't have to say, but uh, I'm uh, I'm uh, against everybody. So, <laughs> but no, for? it's I got an invitation to this. I'm one of the Republicans on the list, so that's why they that's why I found out about it. You say you're one of the Republicans? Yeah, I'm a, Republican? I'm a Bedford Republican, so I got an automatic invitation to come to this. So otherwise, I probably wouldn't have known about it. Um, Have you uh, had a chance to meet Andy Sanborn, Lori Sanborn? Yeah, I know Andy. Um, Good I've, guy. I've ambushed, right? interviewed him twice, and I him will probably do it a third time tonight. And he's always very graceful, a little bit political, but uh, take care. That's what you get from a senator. You're, we're waiting for uh, Senator Senator Brown. I know. That's why we just walked through. I was like, oh, but any moment now, right? Right? Maybe I don't know. I know. We can go get he some know, spaghetti. He made it more than I do. Hockey, all right. <laughs> no, I, I can't. I can't hide my. I can't hide my party affiliation, really. But the thing is, you know, I, I've been a Republican since '84. But sometimes I feel well, like well, well. I, since '84. But I sometimes feel as though I'm not in my own party. You know, I like it's like I'm not welcome sometimes. But again, that's because I'm asking tough questions. So I guess it, that that would make sense for me not to be. I, I believe that a lot of people in New Hampshire. <laughs> I'm, I'm with the new Boston Republican Committee. Oh, okay. I believe there's a lot of us that identify with Tea Party. Now, I don't know how you can s define Tea Party, but all I know is that we believe in a constitutionally ruled, traditional America. Yeah. And we, too, find a lot of Republicans, particularly the guy who's um, the people who are in our, currently in Congress, um, the head of the, the, the minority leader, and um, in this, in this, um, this, I can't remember their names, but you know, those guys are just doing nothing. They're doing nothing. They're, they're, well, I wish they were doing what Obama, nothing. What Obama is doing yeah. is, is beyond outrage. Well, and they're thing, doing nothing. Yeah, well, the thing is, though, I generally I, I'm always reluctant to ask a politician to do something, and that's why I'm not in there. Well, that's why uh, you like that's Andy, because he's he really he's really done a lot. He's really been there. But well, no, I don't. I don't want them to do a lot. I want them to do nothing. Nothing. Or you, would, would, you, would you say you identify more with libertarian? I would, I would be what you call an anti-aggressionist. Does that make sense? It's an ideology I have all to myself. Anti-aggression uh, against who? Anti-aggression against anyone. Because How about against ISIS? That's not aggression. If you go kill ISIS, it's good for you. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> no, I don't, I, don't think I, want, I don't think I want tax dollars. If I knew ISIS but, was going to come uh, around, if, in fact, if I knew the Iraq war was going to come around, I would have stayed in the Marine Corps. Well, a lot of people say the opposite. You know, they got in because of 9-11, and they got in, wound up getting sent to Iraq, which was a different issue. 
And, you know, Saddam Hussein is long dead, but uh, there's 1.5 million dead Iraqi civilians, supposedly. Or, well, that's that's not just Iraq. That, 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 I'm including Afghanistan. So. The, well, uh, I guess, I, I'm a firm uh, believer in getting them there, not here. Yeah, I mean, if that, you're fighting the a war... With libertarians yeah. is what, if you follow their tenets... You'd wait until they're at our doorstep. No, if you're following your, their tenants, you would do what I did, and you'd go there yourself on your own dime and kill people. Although I haven't killed anybody, but I did go to Bosnia on my own dime. This program is brought to you by Freekeen.com. Freekeen.com features audio, video, and blogs chronicling the transition to a voluntary society. Freekeen.com also has comments and discussion forums so you can be heard. Freekeen.com.